best Congolese wife. Yes, you are. You want to sit on daddy's legs? You actually deserve 11 out of 10 because then Congolese and cooking like a Congolese gives you extra points. Do I cook better than your mom? Channel. Um, today we are doing something different. We're cooking, and I am cooking a Congolese dish. It's nsombe uh, with Thompson. Okay. Um, it's my husband's favorite. My husband is Congolese, and I myself am not Congolese. I'm Zimbabwean, but I cook a whole lot of Cong Congolese food because that's. I mean, he loves his African food, so. Give a man what he wants. These are my ingredients. I've got, uh, this is um, tomato puree, okay. An onion, this is a full onion. And this is, um, this is crushed peanuts. And this is our palm oil. And this is the man of the moment. This is um, Thompson, it's a fish. Um, people call it different, you know what, it depends, people have got different names, uh, I heard that it's called Thompson, um, so this is the magic to the recipe, okay, this is a different fish, but we're not using it today, and here we've got the, I've been boiling these vegetables, they're already boiled, um, this is our ensemble, I've boiled it again, I don't know what is the, what do others call it? I know apparently in Congo they've got different names. If you, you're from Kinshasa, they've got a different name. What they call it? If you're from Lubumbashi, I don't know. They've got different names. So my husband called, told me that it's Nsombe. Okay. Oh, I've boiled already my, my, my Nsombe. I've pre-boiled it. Uh, I've been boiling it for, I think, about 30 minutes, 35 minutes or so. Also. Yeah, I don't know. It's a very, like, sort of a very hard, hard vegetable so it needs to boil just yeah a little bit more i'm just switching on my stop here so what i usually do just after boiling my sombe i take uh my onions and I put on my tomato puree and I put my palm oil apparently this are uh, this oil it makes the vegetable a little bit softer because it's a very hard vegetable I find um, before when I was still starting to to learn how to cook this I used to just use normal vegetable oil and yeah it wasn't um, it would still remain very hard. So my husband says the trick is in the palm oil and the, and the, um, what is this? The peanuts. So I'm putting my peanuts. I usually, I just take normal peanuts. Sometimes I buy it, um, already crushed or I just take my normal peanuts and put them in the blender and then blend it in. Yeah. So I just mix this a little bit and I let it um, again boil a little bit I let it boil more so while my 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 sombe is just boiling in there I like to take my fish my Thompson and then just boil it yeah we know we're not frying it I like to take it and then boil it aside in a separate pan uh, I'm using water at the moment but if you want you can use stock stock it's the best actually it gives it more flavor so this fish I find that when you cook this fish it smells a little bit it, it's got a honey it's got like this smell that just takes over so I use this stock to just also Add a little bit of flavor let it boil together oh gosh I don't know if it's a bit too much so yeah you people don't judge me I like using this stock I know it's written chicken flavor but for some reason it just gives it a very nice flavor 
um this other lady suggested to me that i'll i try and use this uh there we go there we go so she suggested i i try use this in my fish when i'm boiling my fish yeah it gives it a hell lot of flavor and yeah we love flavor don't we who doesn't like flavor like i love fish so much like I don't mind eating fish every day. I'm not really a big fan of um, of red meat. And then I take this as well. It's written onga stew. So as well, again, somebody recommended it. You know what? All these recommend all these recommendations I'm talking about. I get them from you know when I go to the market. I to get um to get like other african food like you if you want to make a congolese dish you have to go to a place where there's like a market for congolese women and they sell all the stuff if i want to make nigerian food you have to go to where they sell nigerian food so whenever i get there i try to make conversation with the ladies to get just some tips because i mean i'm originally zimbabwean so when i got married to this man i knew nothing about congolese food i had to learn you know i can't just be cooking things that he doesn't like so i prefer to cook my husband's favorite dishes and he likes his you know he likes his african food so every time i go to the market i'll be asking lady so how do i cook this how do i cook this at first i would just yeah make a mess of the my recipes until i decided you know if i want to make a congolese dish i'll start asking the congolese women in the market so if i want to make thompson how do i make it how do i make it the congolese way so practically that's just how i I've learned to cook this and yeah and in our fish what I would like to add again is a fish spice this is a fish spice so I let it boil a little bit not just not too much though maybe uh, 10 minutes max I let it boil and you know, let the flavor soak in okay this is salt this is just salt just let it boil with the salt. So there's our Thompson. I boiled it. It's been boiled. I boiled it for like five, 10 minutes max. So what we need to do is um, we need to debone it, like remove the bones inside the fish. We only what we need only is the like the meat. So I use my hands, um, I've washed my hands, I wash my hands, when I'm cooking I wash my hands like 100 times, so, so yeah, my hands are clean, so I'm just going to dip on it and remove it, once I'm done doing that I will show you how it looks like, I didn't like overcook it, because we're still going to put it in the, in the nsombe and it will cook a little bit, and you know, Fish cooks very fast, hey. It that's why even when I boil it, I don't really boil it for so long. Ten minutes is actually a lot. Maybe six, seven minutes, somewhere there. Yeah, fish cooks very fast. That's one of the reasons why I actually love fish, because it it cooks really, really fast. Uh, it's still a little bit hot. You, I advise you just rather um let it cool down and then remove the meat because you don't also want to burn your your hands i'm sorry guys i'm using one hand because the other hand is holding my phone um i feel i'm filming with my phone i don't have a camera yet or yeah or a tripod i actually i've been looking for a tripod once they're out so this is how it looks like and there goes the bones out okay so what you like to do next is we're going to take this fish and put it in our in our sombe there it's been um cooking so i take my fish and put it in
and what i find is in uh this thompson fish when you're cooking it on, on its own like if you boil it or even fry it especially fry it on its own god it's it's got this ugly smell i really honestly i don't like the smell but what i find is those like the spices and the stocks that i put it in the beginning they kind of kill that smell yeah they help hey now i don't have neighbors asking me what am i cooking what's that you cooking what's that you cooking i don't like that or you just enter or you somebody my husband usually he would when he's at the gate the minute he gets inside the house he'll be like oh we got thompson for dinner today it's like he already knows what you're cooking or what's for dinner Sometimes you just want a surprise, you know, so it's a surprise. Look what's for dinner. So there we go. I when I when I steer it, you just wanna be a little bit careful because you still want that fish, you know, to feel the meat. You don't want it to your fish to turn into mince meat. So be careful when you steer it, don't over steer it. And then because by this time my 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 zombie is like cooked already we just want it to blend in properly or nicely okay and I add a little bit of more spice your allow spice by the way okay this is fish spice I mix it with pepper <laughs> I, I get this pepper at the Nigerian market. So whenever I get to the Nigerian market, can I have pepper? Can I have pepper? Um, I don't even know what's pepper. I don't know. Is it pepper or is it spicy? I know it's a little bit um, chili. More salt. So I let it simmer for, for just maybe two to the maybe two to three minutes three minutes i let it simmer while i clean up this mess i've just created you know it's a huge mess right here clean up all this bone clean. so here is our thompson in its glory it's cooked we are about to test it I think you can see the fish inside. I hope it shows on the camera nicely. It's so there's our sombe. It's done. Let's taste it. Mm, mm. It's nice and spicy. So I usually save it with rice. You can save it with pap. For samaluna or fufu, I put too much pepper, so it's cut a bit hot. No, baby, it's hot. <laughs> not, not too much, babe. Hmm. It's nice. I love it. It's spicy. I like my food spicy. Hmm. I love it. So, my husband is now having his lunch. He is the worst food critic. Baby, do you like it? It's very nice. How do you find it? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Mm -hmm. And the pepper? I, I like it hot, so it's fine. I like chilies, like chilies, a lot of chilies, you know. Mm -hmm. I you wanna sit on daddy's? Yeah. You I don't, don't have to add my orange chilies. No. The hot ones, because this is not enough. S so, am I the best Congolese wife? Yes, you are. You, you wanna to sit on daddy's legs? You have got two points for not being Congolese and ten out of ten for cooking like a Congolese. It's twelve out of ten. So, would you rather have me or a Congolese woman? I'd rather have you.
He's such a liar. For the effort in him. Flattery. The effort is priceless. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm getting there, right? Every day. Perfect. Towards perfection. I'm towards perfection. Yes. It's not yet perfection. Paul Sunga Kwaf, Kerlin Kaloudi, Michael Durand et toi, Gauss Kebe très très fort, Florian Myokono. Nakobala yo, 